Hey guys, um, so some of you had asked to take a closer look at the Sabbath Mood um, High School Curriculum Guides, so that's what we're going to do in this video. The first one we're going to look at is geology, and um, one thing I want you to notice is that there's no part listed here. That is because this, I believe, is the only geology guide versus um, chemistry, which I think there's three years of. So I emailed Nicole, who's the creator of um, this guide, and she said that um, it would be okay to share the first three lessons, which are also included in the sample on her website. Um, so if you scroll to the bottom of whichever particular guide you're looking at, it has um, the first three lessons, which I didn't know, um, so I'm glad I reached out to her. So this first lesson has kind of an overview about what you'll be reading, and then it gives you um, the assignments. And so you can see um, it says to read these pages and then what to write into your notebook. Um, and it kind of explains to the students like how to write a narration, what different things to do, and then there are optional activities. And um, this is another part which has to do with volcanoes and it incorporates a nature walk. So all of this is just the first lesson. Um, and then we have the second lesson and this one talks about the ice age. And so, um, oh, oops, this one's actually supposed to be secular. Interesting. So there's a quote from Isaiah in here, um, which I didn't notice. And then there's a quote from Job. So that's kind of interesting. Um, anyway, then we have, uh, so I guess just note that, um, then we have different optional activities and she has watched some of these videos and those have been interesting um, for her to do and then lesson three is an experiment and so there's a continent template which is on this site then you write the continent line them up and then try to tape them together so it's a pretty simple lab um, I haven't looked at what the more in-depth one, ones are because you have to get the different supplies and things, but I did tell my daughter to pick which um, of these guides she wanted to do the uh, experiments from, and then here's the last part of the third lesson, and so hopefully that gives you guys a better idea of that's the geology one, and then I'll show you um, some of her notebooking so far, and so this is the book for geology in case you didn't see the other video, which is the 10th grade curriculum so this is what they're reading from and it's really like a living science book as opposed to a textbook um, and so this is her narrations you can see and she has really been enjoying the science um, from when I first showed it to her she thought that it looked really interesting and so um, I think it's a really good fit for us so she had started this early because she finished her online public charter school classes about two months early so she had been working on a history and English credit with a different curriculum and I thought well why don't you just also do the science so you're not only doing those two things so she started on this one and then um, the next one that we got for her was physics part one I think there's three parts of this and I'll show you the first three lessons so I didn't grab the book because I showed that in the other video Here's lesson two. I really like how it incorporates text with pictures. That's one of my favorite kinds of, um, oh, I skipped lesson one. That's one of my favorite types of curriculum where it's not just text. So you can look up at the telescope. And we looked at lesson two a little bit, and then lesson three is an experiment. So it looks like that's the format, is you have two lessons and then you have an experiment. And this one looks like um, all you need is a flashlight and a glass, water, soap, and you can do it. So that's the physics part one. Um, and I think you're supposed to do chemistry, but uh, I had been talking with one of you about we did a different chemistry and last year and it was really intensive so she wanted to take a break from that so she wanted to do meteorology and this was um that's what weather is i'll just start i'm trying not to show the stuff before the lessons because i don't know if that's a sample um so you have the secret world of weather 
And these all have an intro, as you can see. So these can be used independent of each other. They can be used together. You can kind of mix and match. She does have a suggested um, sequence, and she has a worksheet for um, planning science on her website, which is great if you're not sure what you want to do. Um, so I can just look at this, read this second chapter, wrote what you know, list the three ways heat moves and explain what you know about each of them, then draw a diagram. Um, so this is kind of the point that I was making in another um, comment someone had asked about different materials that I use, like why I would use a book list type curriculum versus um, these guide-based curriculums. So what I like about these is that you have a high school student that's able to work independently and you hand them the books, but this guide gives them the questions. And these, you know, some of these are open-ended, some are not, um, but it kind of helps them work more independently without having to um, yourself go and retype questions or put things together for them to do on a daily basis and it gives more of a backbone to their studies so that's what I really like about these guides and then of course I really like the book selections that's also um, one of the main draws of this particular science curriculum for me versus um, a daunting textbook that requires lots of calculations or things like that what I'm my goal with high school science is to encourage a love to continue encouraging a love of science but at a more um, intensive level but not necessarily um, you know, calculating the speed of light or something every lesson, if that makes sense. I'm being exaggerating, but I hope you know what I mean. So anyway, then here we have again, the third supply is an experiment or the third lesson is an experiment. Um, this one I had looked at and they sell these at um, home science tools. If you're interested in doing this, uh, you get an infrared thermometer with a laser sight. Uh, or a baby thermometer that has a food and water setting. So I don't think we have that baby thermometer. Um, so we may have to get an infrared thermometer, which seems like it could be a fun activity. Uh, and this has to do with like how weather is caused by the sun. So I thought that was a pretty interesting um, lesson. And um, that's all I have to show you guys for these three uh, guides. If you want to see, I think there's 12 different guides on her website. There may even be 16. I'm not sure because I think it might be four per year. Uh, each one of these has its own of those and these has its own three first sample lessons at the bottom of her page, Sabbath Mood Homeschool. Let's see if the website's on the back here. This is Nicole. Uh, I'm not seeing the website. So I'll look for the link and I'll put that in the description for you guys. And also the last thing I'll say is you can see at the bottom of these guides, it tells you which book to use, which I think is great because if you're anything like me, you have books all over the place. You don't know what goes with what. But anyway, thank you for watching this um, closer look at Sabbath Mood Homeschool High School Science Guides.